Hey guys, Sorka, welcome back to Amori. Let's carry on where we left off. Somehow we've managed to keep up the charade of us being sprout moles here in Sweetheart's Castle. Probably because we've been running errands here and there, baking cakes, helping maestros with their choirs, so on and so forth. But uh, now here we are in the servants' quarters, kind of curious as to why Mari set up a picnic uh, in one of the rooms. There sure are a lot of sprout moles here, and they all sure love Sweetheart. I tried offering one some food earlier, but she called me a peon and threw it back at me. Uh, well, was it tofu? Because if it was tofu, I highly doubt it would have been flung into your face. Sprout moles are peculiar creatures, aren't they? You know who else is peculiar? You. But, uh, we can talk about that if we can have a picnic, which... Actually, I can't, don't think we can right now. Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. So, the statue just changes every time I inspect it, it seems. Alright. Well, let's uh, have a look at the other one. Hmm. I could just spam it as much as I want. Okay, uh, that's fine then. We'll just, uh, we'll just move on with our lives then, huh? Maybe we'll heal up really quickly. Ah, yes, a bowl of sweet strawberries. Would you like to eat some? Why not? Right, well, uh, we'll see you around, Mari. We'll explore these servants' quarters. Probably, uh, we'll have to bond by bashing these vases instead of having a picnic. Which, uh, you know, I won't protest. Especially if I get paid for it. 25 and 30 clams. Who are you? The Sprout Mole gazes wistfully at Sweetheart's portrait. You do know that the actual real-life Sweetheart lives in this palace, right? You could probably go see her anytime you want. But sure, why not? Just look at the portrait. It's uh, inspect your bed. I bet it's like a 2 out of 10, because it's in the servants' quarters. A bed for Sprout Moles. Smells like dirty laundry. Yeah, that sounds like a 2 out of 10 to me. Alright, um... What else do we have here in the servants' quarters? Saw a couple of rooms up ahead as well. Start over here. Sort de ma chambre, oui, j'appellerie le flic. I... I cannot do French. I'm sorry. Oh, Francois. I can't understand a single word you're saying, but you're so dreamy. Shall we try this again? Sort de ma chambre, oh, j'appellerie le flic. That's the, that's the best you're gonna get out of me, okay? Just like, uh, poker, poker, I've already forgotten how to freaking say it. Okay, we've got a bird cage. Looks like there's a key in there, which, uh, I don't know if I can obtain. Might as well have a look at it. This looks like a job for Aubrey. Well, why not? Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's explore a little bit. Looks like we got another strawberry cake there. A couple of sprout moles flanking it. I don't know if they've eaten it or not, because they're still there, right? But there is a slice missing. Picked up a pearl. Yo, Gems! It's been a while, buddy. How's your weekend, man? <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Actually, you know what? I should have just nodded my head. <laughs> if I speak, you'll know I ain't Gems. With a Z. Sweetheart is so cool. I wish I could work here forever. Well, I'm sure they can arrange that. <laughs> if you get sent to the dungeon, you can work there forever. Ah, sweetheart is so scary. I wish I could go home. <laughs> the duality of sprout moles, ladies and gentlemen. Dang it. How did I end up in this mess? A scary looking sprout mole named Marsha suddenly pulled me from my home and said I was going to replace some faulty staff here. Apparently the last guy got thrown into the dungeon for treason. Turnover rate here must be horrible. Wait, what? So, you didn't apply for this job? They kind of just threw you into the servant's room here? Goodness. No wonder the turnover rate's so high. We don't have any motivated staff. Okay, let's see where this uh, cake leads us. A strawberry cake that smells like garbage. You want to take a bite? Uh, we'll make Cal eat it. Right, well, now I can see why it smells like garbage. We're here in the junkyard. Jam packets! I only know because I recognize this tune. It's a really nice, relaxing tune, isn't it? Let's go back. And down here, what do we have? Dear Diary, today I... Gee, what did I do today? <laughs> That's me on a daily basis. <laughs> Unsure what I've even accomplished. Okay, down here we've got... It's so hard to sleep with those two in the other room. If only we had ceilings here. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Goodness. I suppose Sweetheart skipped out on the construction bill for the servants' quarters. Don't kid yourself, Cretan. I'm going to be the one to marry Sweetheart. 
You spout delusions, twin brother. It is I. Is it I? <laughs> Sorry. Actually, that's what's saying. That's what he's saying. Is it I who is going to marry, sweetheart? Oh, please, this will be no contest. When it comes to the two of us, I am by far the more dashing. Don't be foolish, brother. We look exactly the same. I just know that Sweetheart is going to fall for... my personality. T -t 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 Nonsense, brother. When the time is ripe, she will fall head over heels over my fashionable mus new moustache. Huh. A fashionable mus moustache, you say? What moustache? All I see are a pair of nose hairs. Dear brother, you're really getting on my last stem, but I know how to settle this. Foul sprout balls! Which one of us do you think is a better match for Sweetheart? Uh, pick randomly. Hopefully I don't choose the guy who said, is it? <laughs> I, who's going to be Sweetheart's husband. Ha! As expected. I'm going to ask Sweetheart to marry me right now. I don't believe this nonsense. Hey, uh, you're in luck. You're not going to go uh, into the dungeon, I think. Oh, woe is me. I mourn for my lost brother. With his looks... I already know it'll be off to the dungeon with him. Just like our late third brother. Oh god, you're a twin! Oh no, you knew it was gonna fail all along. It's like they were trying to sacrifice themselves for each other. Okay, um, Aubrey, you got a lot of work to do here. And if you do well, I'll give you the bow tie I just found. Hey, can't you see I'm trying to meditate here? You bunch are so rude. Oh, well, you know. I've been helping out all over the place. It's about time I kind of just ruin people now. Right, let's bust this key out of there. Done! What is it? Can't quite tell. It's a J. For jokes. For gyms, actually. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got another one of these guys. Seems we haven't completely cleared the family tree after all. Stop, imposters! I know what you are, and you are not Sproutballs! <laughs> you must be wondering how I'm able to tell. You see, I am the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus II, and grandson of Sir Maximus. He may have bested my father and grandfather, but that has only fueled my rage and thirst for vengeance. With my impressive lineage and my father and grandfather by my side, I will be victorious and avenge my family! Yeah, that's what the other guy said, but with, uh, you know, one less... <laughs> One less stage of the family. Okay. Let's get down to business. No. I cannot let my father's and his father's deaths be in vain. You will. Let us pass. Oh no, he remembered his dying words and became sad. That's sad. Let me cheer him up. You can do it, Sir Maximus. You can avenge your father and your grandfather. All you have to do is kill us. Maybe that wasn't the smartest move to do. Uh-oh. They've arrived. We're getting ultied. We've lost. Kill. Father. Grandfather. I'm sorry. I have failed you. And with that, I think the Maximus line has gone kaput. Phew. All right, well, uh, what are our choices? Strawberries or whatever Mari has in the basement slash dungeon? Hey, is it just me, or does it seem quieter all of a sudden? Wasn't there a crowd of sprout moles at the entrance earlier? I don't see them around anywhere. They must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's follow them, Amori. Maybe they can lead us out of here. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and heal ourselves first. Without running into any more sprout moles, thank you. Oh, damn, look at the people I've detained. The ones who weren't following the dress code. Help us! Uh, well, I've kind of opened the door. This is the exact same cell where I was trapped in earlier. Come on, guys. You can escape on your own, right? Don't be scared of that Harold. He's practically useless. All right, well, it looks like the way out is clear. Let's go ahead and make our grand escape. This is not Fruit Punch. <laughs> yep. I think we established that when I kept tossing my clams into that fountain. Whoa. Damn, it's bright out here. What's going on? Well, they're all dressed in pink, according to code. Wow, is that a mini dress or just one singular bow tie? <laughs> it's quite the crop top that one has. There we are. 
Woohoo! We're finally out of Sweetheart's Castle! Wonder what's up with that big event everyone's preparing for. It's strange. I don't see the sprout moles from the entrance anywhere. Where could they have all gone? Uh, there must be a hidden exit somewhere. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. This entire courtyard looks suspicious, okay? We're not even wearing pink. Oh man, we're gonna get caught. We're gonna get sent right back into the dungeon. Let's look around. We've got a maze. That we can explore the amazing maze. Kel, this looks like a job for you. I don't know what you're going to be throwing your thing at, but we'll say, I guess there must be something we need to do if we have access to that pillar. Oh, shit. Yow! Oh, that hurt! Is everyone okay? What happened? Oh, that sweetheart Topiary just fired a laser at us. There's just got to be a way to get rid of those guys. Alright, well... I don't know how. I guess it has to do with this. Alright, sweetheart. You asked for this. Hiya! Uh, yeah. What were we throwing it at? I don't think we can throw diagonally, can we? Dang, I missed. Oh, silly Cal. You're not going to knock out anything throwing like that. Why don't you try aiming for once? Huh? Aim? Well, I can do that? Of course. Even you can aim, Kel. Alright, I'll give it my best shot. Okay. Oh, there we go. Time. Done. One more. See, Kel? You can aim. Goodness. Even with that moss covering your face. <laughs> you can see. Uh, wow, really? I can't, I can't inspect this dodgy-ass bird box there? Got a waffle. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to advance past there until I blow that statue up with a stone. Let's go ahead and pelt one at it. A suspicious-looking mushroom. Would you like to take a bite? Yeah, well, I'm, I mean, Kel's party leader. Why not? Okay, I said bite, not three. Oh, jeez. Where have we ended up? Uh, hello there. You! Bulbous one. Your eyes. They tell me that you yearn to learn. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I will teach you. Come. Come where? Into that little freaking crater with you? Hmm. You do not have the same sparkle in your eyes as the bulbous one. He's the only one I will teach. Who's the bulbous one? You're not telling me it's me. You have come! Excellent. Now observe. The hard bulbs like the one behind me hold creatures like me. Yes, because every time we inspected it, it did say that there was something inside, perhaps alive. However, we are unable to escape by our own means. The very specific and intricate cutting technique, one would be able to release us from our buddy fate. However, this technique takes years, perhaps even decades to master. If you agree to learn it, there's no telling how long this will take. Yet with time, I believe you will do great things. I'll just consider me the Dragonborn, except, uh, you know, my skill's more with knives than shouts. Are you ready to take on the challenge and become my disciple? Yes. I'm already trained for a long time. Alright, but, uh, the interests of, uh, <laughs> Time, we're gonna. We're not even gonna show a montage, really. We're just gonna skip right to 20 years later. Excellent, 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 excellent. You've grown so much, unlike uh, this bulb behind me. Now, cut it using your perfected technique so that it may live. Alright, well, search and rescue, here we come. Hi, at last, I am free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this, it's a gift from me. You got a deadline. Thank you. Excellent, 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 excellent. Oh, is this what I need to do to talk to that old man in Orange Oasis? Yes, he's still on my mind. I was like, damn it, I couldn't speak to him whatsoever. Now I can finally see how I can get a boost up there. I got jam packets. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. I have half a mind to find freaking Pluto's space line and go right there right now. But we've got a job to do. So let's go ahead and handle business. I wonder where Mario set up shop. 
As a member of the esteemed elite, I have a special code word to hide. But you probably wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, well that's fine then. Why even mention it? Spike's gone. Is that literally it? Okay. I suppose so. But we did learn about a code word that he needs to find, so... Maybe we need to start looking into that? Okay, we can aim forward, but can we aim backward? Probably not. Alright, more spikes disabled. Protecting the sacred password is an arduous task. Perhaps one day you find young moles will carry the same burden of the illustrious elite. Yes, okay, I can tell you're so full of yourselves. Yes, the sacred code. We'll crack your damn sacred code, okay? By going underground first. Oh look, it is Mari. Jeez, perfectly good uh, outdoor. Oh wait, no, never mind. We're back here in the in the dungeon. How the hell did we manage that? All right, well, let's not uh, question the geography of what's going on. Let's just make our way to where we need to go. Um, should we go this way? Looks like that doesn't lead anywhere in particular. That's fine. Oh, shit. Not looking for a fight. Not looking for a fight. Okay. Maybe we can have some tea instead. What the hell is that? Some crazy-ass horse running around. Is that, like... Is, is that an enemy or is that an NPC? Come back here. Oh, it's... Oh, shit. <laughs> um... A horse butt and horse head. Okay. So that's how this is gonna play out, huh? <laughs> okay. Right, well, that was interesting. What's going on over here? Looks like we've got some thorns blocking our way. Oh, jeez. I didn't need that image. Just randomly popping up. Hmm. Almost there, I think. Okay, I guess they're working towards it. These vines are tough like me. Oh, so they all say different things. We spend every day chopping these vines, but it never seems like we get any work done. These vines are gonna be the death of me. I can almost see the other side. Can I? Chop, chop, chop! Careful not to cut yourself! These vines are sharp! Uh, yeah, please don't cut me. Huh? That's weird. Can't see anything. Curse these vines, they just never quit! Okay, well, that's pretty cool that they got, uh, we'll have different dialogue. Okay, well, let's leave that for now. Got a massive statue of Sweetheart in the middle, but first, let's have some tea. You wanna have tea with your friends? Yeah, why not? There's only two seats, unfortunately, but uh, we'll surrender them to Aubrey and Hero. Are we eating sprout moles? No, that's their masks. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, we're about to like have some tea and sprout moles instead of tea and crumpets. All right, well, jeez. Once again, I curl my legs around myself on the bench because that's how I sit. Uh, okay. An impressive statue of Sweetheart casts a discomforting shadow over the garden. I don't see the shadow. Oh, there's the shadow. Is that supposed to be the shadow? Uh-oh. Um... What's the password? Uh, beautiful. And? Oh, I was... Uh, am I right? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> beautiful... Flamingo. And? Oh, what the hell? Uh... Uh, <laughs> eating? And? Uh, eating, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't freaking know. Statue. You said beautiful flamingo eating statue. Wrong! Okay, well, oh, jeez. Thanks for going all Independence Day on me. I guess, uh, maybe I took a bit of damage? Seems that way. Okay, alright, um... I think we're gonna need to find the password. Let's have a look around. This flamingo is not cooperating. These ones just keep swapping around. There are four passwords that must be spoken to the Sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Yes, that's what I've gathered. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I have been given the responsibility of guarding the first of four. It's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Ah! Oh, you are saying you would like to know of the password? 
I apologize. I'm afraid that is not in my jurisdiction. Though, I mean, did she hint at it? She did say it's a beautiful day. I suppose something tasty, off-white and cubish may change my mind. I was about to say, you need a tofu. Fine, for peace of mind, I'll give you a tofu to confirm what the password is. Oh, mm, delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip just this once. Now, lean in closer. The password that I have been entrusted with is sweet. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Okay, so it wasn't beautiful. That's good. Uh, I'm glad that I uh, paid the bribe. So let's go ahead and find the other one. Because I don't think I gathered it. Oh, you want to know the password? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Huh? You really need it? Like you really, really need it? Like you really, really, really need it? Like you really, 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 really need it? Really? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I have no choice. But you have to promise not to tell anyone else. Pinky, swear on it. Uh, yes. It's done. Our bond has been formed. And done. Whew. I was worried you might have been someone untrustworthy. Now, lean in closer. The password that I've been entrusted with is... Filled. You got that? Ha <laughs> ha You've been bamboozled! I was about to take off my sprout mole mask if I could, just to see the look on Alex, Alex the esteemed face. Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? I promise I won't tell anyone but the statue. Hello, good sir or madam. Brian the Distinguished. There are four passwords that must be spoken to the sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility of guarding the second of four. You want to know the password, eh? Not so fast there, buddy. I gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. I uh, hit a growth spurt, you know, as sprout moles do. How do I know if you really are one of us highly intelligent and majestic creatures? <laughs> are you saying that, you know, I'm just wearing this face? That this face doesn't belong to me? Do you think I'd ever spill the password to a potential spy? Ha! <laughs> don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're a sprout mole, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password. If you can guess what I am thinking about right now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's either Tofu or Sweetheart, but... Tofu is probably the more likely option given that it's there twice. And not all sprout moles like Sweetheart, right? Especially the one that got, like, dragged into the palace to take over someone's duties. Oh. Mmm. Delicious Tofu. I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of sprout moles out there. Now, lean in closer. Yeah, there are all kinds of sprout moles, but they all have one thing in common, and that's a desire for tofu filling their bellies. The password that I have been entrusted with is jelly. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Sweet jelly filled what? There are four passwords that must be spoken to the sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility of guarding the fourth of four. But, ugh. I'm supposed to hold on to the super secret password and everything, right? But, like, it's about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. Helen the Calamitous. It makes me so hungry that I've started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food to the guards around here. Really? Jeez. You should always keep your guards fed and paid. They're the ones protecting you, right? And like, what kind of password is Donut anyway? As in like, that stupid pet name that weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Police. That's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. They were always walking around here and acting all couple calling each other names like that back and forth. You hang up. No, you hang up. Saying things like, why won't you ask me to marry you yet? And, I'm sorry, my friends don't approve of this relationship all the time. Ugh, so annoying. <laughs> but whatever. I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords with those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. <laughs> That's right. Pity me if you want. I see if I care. Here I am, trapped here in this lonely little corner of the garden, guarding the word donut of all things. 
I mean, it's a tough assignment. Jeez, Louise. Oh, well, I'll let you get back to it then. Sorry to disturb you. Gosh, I can tell you take your job very seriously. You don't need intervention from a couple of random human-sized sprout moles trying to navigate a maze. All right, we've got all the passwords and I haven't even written it down, so let's test my knowledge and my memory. Here we go. Can't afford to get zapped. I don't exactly have a lot of health right now. So I'm putting it all on the line. What's the password? Sweet. And... Uh, jelly. And... Filled. And... Donut. You said sweet, jelly, filled, donut. Wanna expect a couple sprout moles to figure it out? Fine! There we go. Jeez, you don't have to look so demonic about it. Solved your damn maze puzzle. Ooh, lots of gifts I see. Let's go to town. Unopened presents are littered across the floor. Okay, we've also got a letter. Dear sweetheart. Oh, sorry. Dear sweatheart, I love you so much. Let us have kids and spend the rest of our lives to get her. I would like that very much. Thank you. At least that's capitalized. What is happening? I can hear the choir. Buckets of paint. Seems to be obstructing a tunnel. Hmm. Someone do a prison break out here? What is that? It sounds like there's someone walking on the second floor of my house. And I don't even have a second floor, so that's just creepy. Uh, hello there, Smuggler Jash. Got some choice goods for sale, patron. All right, well, yeah, you do have tofu. I suppose there's that. Ah, yes, pickles. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Cool. This feels like we're in uh, boss fight territory then, if I'm able to heal up like that. Can't speak with this bear. Oh, no, never mind, I can. Oh, shit. I fell for it again. Yes, we won. I did not succumb. You found a teddy bear. Sweetheart, you are my queen. I love and appreciate everything that you do more than anything. Please respond. <laughs> Damn, so what is this place exactly? Just her dumping ground for all the tribute that's paid to her? There's another letter over here. Lovely, sweet, hired. You are my love. Please visit my home. It is ready for you. <laughs> oh, God. These, like, rejected tweets that she's been receiving. I have lavoed you since the first moment digity I laid my eyes on you. Plaz be mine fever. Okay. Okay. I think that all they had to do was write, uh, Pokradun- Well, that's kind of unnerving, seeing Mari's picnic basket here, but she's not around. It's like she's just dumped it here as well. And we're back. Audience is still full. And the front row seats are still vacant. Ooh, ooh. Quick, take our seats, take our seats. We finally made our way out. Whoa, what's with all these decorations? It looks like someone's about to get married. Uh-oh, the show's about to start. Let's hide. Okay, we could have just hidden in... The f in plain sight at the front, but sure. Here we go. <laughs> welcome all, welcome all. Today is a most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. 42 seasons. Damn, she milked that for all she could. It is now time to air our final episode. It has been a splendiferous run. Thank you all for your viewership, but we're finally cancelled now. For as long as we have been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved sweetheart. At each time, regretfully, Sweetheart was unable to find her one true love, like any other Bachelor show. <laughs> but this time we believe 
that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. Oh, so who's the unfortunate bastard? It's not that guy that I told to <laughs> go marry Sweetheart, right? The guy who said, is it I? The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. There we go. Let's see how it all plays out. Please, welcome to the aisle. Sweetheart's perfect suitor. Oh, God. Can't wait to see this. No one's even looking. Her perfect suitor is a cake? She's marrying a cake. Oh, it's a stripper inside the cake. This isn't the same cake I made, right? Oh my gosh, it's... Sweetheart herself. Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. She's marrying herself. The answer has been obvious all along. She's marrying... Uh, a tangible form of her ego. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself! <laughs> Silence! Ahem. Let us begin the ceremony. See? She was obviously cancelled. <laughs> like, that's why she's marrying herself. She couldn't find someone in time for uh, the ratings to go up for the 44th season. Kind of regret helping the uh, choir out, but, you know, it has to be. I like how no one turned around except for us. Oh, that's unfortunate she doesn't have anyone escorting her to the aisle there. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart's marrying herself! That's so lame! Don't laugh, Cal. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Why? She is so damn picky, she's never heard of compromise. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now. Or forever hold your peace. In that case, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Sweetheart and Sweetheart. I was going to say Sweet and Heart, but sure. You may now kiss the... I object! Stop this wedding immediately! Who is it? Oh, it's Aubrey. She was putting her sprout mole voice on. Don't do this, Sweetheart! This wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. Not you again! How dare you step foot back in here! Guards? Guards? Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? Seriously, I don't want to go to the dungeon for the third time. She is going to send us to the dungeon again. Huh. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. <laughs> now, you're, now she's old, I guess. I, too, once thought there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to love from now on is myself. Now, guards, seize her! Oh, hero. I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? C could it be? Hero, my hero has come for me. Oh, dear. Oh, my sweet hero. I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Although it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you. I will give you one last chance. Because it was obviously your fault. Marry me, hero. Here and now. Do so. And I will let you and your fans live. <laughs> 
because that's true romance, baby. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't do that. That's crazy. Hm. Well, then fight me. You son of a bitch. What's this? You reject me? Again? But, how could this be? I don't understand. No, you don't, do you? You just expect people to fall head over heels in love with you as soon as they see you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now you've done it, you made Whack Force that stupid-ass giggle again. Ah, uh, yes. I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, Hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But it seems you are jealous of me, just like everyone else. Oh, no. She's one of these people. Yep, you're the main character, sweetheart. Totally. This whole world is about you. I mean, technically it's about Mori, but, you know. <laughs> uh, yes, that must be it. My dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well? I mean, we did stand in your presence. There are a lot of them downstairs. There is no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering. Personally. Oh, well, thank you. Oh. What is she holding there? It's a wand. Farewell, miserable peons! I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever! Uh, I'm pretty sure we could just unlock the door. Oh, here we go! We're fighting against Sweetheart herself at her own wedding. Oh, dear. Alright, well, let's make this happen. Yes, start with basic damage. Quite a calm, soothing tune to begin with. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I knew it would kick into gear eventually. Alright, Aubrey doing some good damage there. Okay, this is gonna take some time. We're not doing that much. We might have to take advantage of emotions. Oh, damn, she insulted us all by calling us hoes. We're all angry. It's pointless, you fools. You cannot dampen my positive energy. Sweetheart became happy. Sweetheart can no longer become sad or angry. Okay, uh, angry is dull against happiness, isn't it? And we can't change her emotions, we can only change our own. So uh, I suppose let's uh, make use of that. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Kel always goes first, so I'm gonna get him to read a poetry book to me while I stab Sweetheart, because that's what you do at a red wedding, or a pink wedding in this case. Aubrey's just gonna smash her face and we'll probably get, uh, We'll get Hero to feed his brother. Read it to me. I like feeling sad. Uh, and we will, um... We'll massage Kel. We'll get rid of that emotion on him. I don't want him, uh, weak. Two. <laughs> Sweetheart, he's already down to 4 HP. Oh, damn, people are enraged. Ugh. Damn it, I lost my sad status. You dare raise your fists at me, fools. You should be groveling on your knees. Uh, yeah, well, my uh, healing item came in too late for Kel, who's toast right now. Stab for 204 damage. Oh, my beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It is a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. Sweetheart became ecstatic. Okay, I didn't realize that uh, these emotions could be, like, you know, further heightened, which is pretty cool, actually. Continue our stabbing motion. Hm. I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. <laughs> Sweetheart became manic. She's... Oh, God. She's becoming a deep-fried meme. Well, thanks for cooking for me. Because Kel's down again. We're so close. She doesn't do that much damage to me, thanks to my sadness. And my uh, juice absorbing some of the damage as well. 202 damage. 22 damage, sorry. Oh my god, she's... Okay, come on, she should be done now. Can't believe she survived on a sliver of health. Go! 
That's it. <laughs> Funny that Kel gets the killing blow here. No! Is this... what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants. And yet we're gonna play the victorious music. 5,800 XP, bunch of clams, level ups, and can't catch me. And enchant. Oh, ho, ho, ho. She is definitely a ho. How could this be? You... You're all nothing. How dare you defy me. Throw them in the dungeon. Guards? Guards? <laughs> uh, even the audience is gone. It's over, sweetheart. The wedding is cancelled. No. I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. Uh-oh. What's happening? Are we getting abducted by aliens? What was that? Oh, it's Captain Space Boy, of course it is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah I wasn't intending on stealing your spaceship, so you don't need a locket, I suppose. My sweetheart! Oh, my sweetheart! Oh, I'm so relieved that I made it in time! You must stop this madness at once! Captain Space Boy? You... You idiot! I thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again! Oh, sweetheart! My sweetheart! My sweet jelly-filled donut! Please look into your heart and give me another chance! I should not have kept you waiting all those days. You... Sorry, she's saying that. You... What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. I like how we've already taken our seats. <laughs> and the guards as well. Marry me, sweetheart! Right here on this very stage! Oh my... This... This is all so sudden! How... 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 how romantic! There you go. Sprout Mulmai, I order you to marry us immediately. Yes, at once, my liege. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to... Oh, forget the formalities, my true love cannot wait! Y yes, my... my princess. <clears throat> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you... Sweetheart and space husband, you may now kiss the bride. I bundled that last word. Um, oh, oh, oh my. Yep, thank you. Sheesh. Oh, I thought I'd need to cut that scene out so I can get monetized here. Oh, sweetheart. Let us travel the universe together. Leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I will go anywhere as long as it is with you. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We've been apart for, too, for much too long. Come, my ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there is one last thing I must do. Sproutball Mike, hand me the button. At once, my queen. I must send them to the dungeon anyway. Uh, what does this button do exactly? We won't need all this anymore. <laughs> Okay, well that's how you finish off a TV show, I suppose. You blow up the set. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen, our chariot awaits! Oh, Sproutmall Mike, third wheeling over there. There's no need for that. Unless he's just there to open the door for them. Oh, well, they're taking off! Ah. Unfortunately, this place has ceilings. Unfortunately, um, Sprout Mall Mike, I think, has uh, just lost his job. He's been made redundant. So much for a happy ending. Oh yeah, wasn't that happy? I'm kind of scared by uh, the uh, hole that's in the stage right now. Is there going to be something creepy coming out of it? I don't think that's going to end well at all. Yeah, I guess that was a complete waste of time. Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Okay, I'll take that. Whoa. All right, let's uh, let's assess the damage. Guess we can't really do much over here. 
So what are we going to be doing? I suppose just leaving? Can we go back down? Uh oh. No. Not here, not now. We just witnessed a happy wedding ceremony, didn't we? <sighs> I think we're about to go back. I think we're going to get kicked out of Dreamland. What's the matter, Amori? Is there something wrong? Yeah, something's very, very wrong. We've got trouble in paradise.